Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you five tips for if you go travelling around Southeast Asia. As some of you may already know, a few months ago I went travelling all around Southeast Asia. I went to Thailand, I went to Cambodia, I went to Vietnam, I went to Borneo and I went to Bali and I went to Kuala Lumpur. And it was such an adventure. So I just want to share with you a few of the tips that I learnt and I really hope it can help some of you. Okay, so my first tip relates to Thailand. So basically, whenever you go into a metered taxi, which are the green and yellow taxis in Bangkok, make sure and insist that they put the meter on. I didn't realise this, but if you agree to a price before you get in or if they just tell you the price at the end of your journey, they'll charge you about double the price it would be if it was on the meter. Whereas if you have the meter on, it's actually really cheap to travel by taxi. I mean, I had quite a few taxi drivers who were really reluctant to put on the meter, but you just have to really insist because otherwise it can be really expensive for a short journey. But if you want to avoid this situation, you don't have to use meter taxis. I'd really suggest using Uber or Grab car. They're both really great. They're really cheap and they're usually really reliable and it's just super easy to get from A to B so I'd really recommend those two apps. My second tip is for if you're travelling with a big rucksack I know I did that, I had a massive rucksack on my back but you have to make sure that if you go flying with it that you tape up all the straps and the loose bits because otherwise the loose bits can get caught in the conveyor belt and that means like your whole bag can rip and everything can fall out and it's just a total nightmare so just make sure all the loose bits are taped up but airlines are getting a lot better at this because they now have trays that they can put your bags in so that's a lot better but I always bring some Gorilla Tape or just normal tape just in case My third tip is to make sure that you use hostels a lot I remember before I went travelling I thought hostels could be a bit gross or I was a bit worried about who I might be sharing a room with and I just thought that hotels might be a bit nicer for some of the trip but actually the hostels turned out to be so amazing like I had a hostel with a rooftop pool and they were just all really clean and you can meet amazing people from all around the globe and it's really fun and also they're so cheap and they're such good value like you save so much money by just using hostels and you can use that money instead on experiences and things like that which I think is a lot better personally my fourth tip is that when you're in Southeast Asia you'll often find yourself just surrounded by people on the streets trying to sell you things but if you definitely don't want what they're selling you need to make sure that you firmly just say no thank you because otherwise they think that you might be interested and so they follow you a lot and things like that so yeah it's better to just say no thank you than just walking past that's particularly the case in places like Bali, Vietnam and Cambodia I found. My fifth tip is to make sure you bring a lot of cash in the currency you need with you because withdrawing cash from the cash points in Southeast Asia is really really expensive because they put a large fee on it so you'll find yourself losing so much money on that and also if you want to convert currency into a different currency um, you have a really bad exchange rate over there so I think it's a lot better to convert your money here and then take it over with you because it just works out so much more cost effective. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other video suggestions, please put them in the comments below and I'll definitely try and do that because I really want to do more travel related content, I think. Also, please remember to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.